Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, my dear friends. God bless each and every one of you. Welcome back, our new subscribers. And please, folks, try to remember, if you could, your thumbs up. I I, I forget it, too. <laughs> but it does help us here on the channel. Uh, today is Monday prayer time. Now, this week again, praise God, we have a lot of requests and we'll have a Tuesday prayer time. So if you don't hear your name today, you know, we'll be doing a Tuesday prayer time. You know, I think it's, you know, perhaps the most important part of this channel is praying one for another. And we do have six people that uh, put down their names so far that they will pray. Now, what that means, that video that came up, that once they pray for their families, that every day, once or twice a day, they will pray for everybody on the channel, for their finances, for their answered prayers, for their healings. Amen. And they've committed every day when they're done, one or two times a day, praying for their own families, that they will pray for the family on Remnant Connection. So we have six of those prayer warriors right now. I expect that to go, you know, to grow. My prayer partner and I, you know, we pray over these names each and every week. And if we have two pages, that's what we're going to do. We're going to pray for every name. Uh, everybody needs prayers on this channel. People need healing. People need finances. Uh, you know, people need their breakthrough. So today I'm going to, the breakthrough prayers will be on Tuesday. We're going to agree with you for your breakthroughs, folks. So today, uh, starting here with our list, we have Christine. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. And uh, I don't know Christine's need, uh, but definitely Christine put her name down. So I pray that God would encourage Christine today. Meet her where she's at. Have his perfect will in her life. The next one is Juan, and I've real J U A N. I've really been praying for John Juan. We prayed for him together last week. Juan needs uh, he's in a dire situation with his rent money and his bills. In fact, I'm going to lift up Juan right now. Lord, we pray divine intervention on Juan's behalf here, Lord God. We pray, God, that that rent would be paid, that all of those bills would be paid. Lord, Juan needs a miracle here, Lord God, and we're standing with him and we ask God that you would do a miracle here Lord God that that back rent would be prayed, uh, paid Lord God and I pray next week we have a praise report from Juan thank you Lord uh, Teresa uh, Tressa T-H-E-R-S-A and uh, we just want the Lord to watch over her Thank you, Lord. Just believe she must be waiting for an answer prayer. T-H-E-R-S-A. Uh, so just believe. Thank you, Lord. C-J, just believe. Uh, C-J, uh, they have a daughter who is pregnant, a young gal, and she's pregnant and she's got some health issues. So we lift up Violet to you right now, God. We pray the safety for her, Lord God. I pray that little Violet, Lord God, you would take her pain, Lord God, and that mother would be rid of this pain and baby would be fine. There's only about 30 days left before this baby comes into the world. So we pray for little Violet, the mama, and the parents, CJ. Thank you, Lord. Andy, A-N-D-I, which is Andrea, A-N-D-E-R-A. So we lift up Andrea today. Uh, we lift up Christine, CJ, and Tressa. And one of our friends of the ch uh, channel, Brandy, B-R-A-D-Y, and her boys. Brandy and her boys, that God would take care of them. Carl, K-A-R-L. God will watch over Carl. So we have Christine, Juan, Tressa, CJ, being the parents, and uh, little Violet, the soon-to-be mommy. Uh, Andrea, Brandy, and her boys, and Carl. And we have Ben, B-E-N. Ben has been delivered from a lot, and he is walking with the Lord. God has brought him through a lot in his life. And we're praying for uh, Ben's family. 
his wife and daughter. So let's lift up Ben's family for salvation. His wife and two daughters. Okay. And Michelle, M-I-C-H-E-L-E. -E, and she is traveling her family from South Africa. They're going coming to America for a trip. And it's a long journey. It's been a long journey coming, getting their papers to even be, uh, you know, able to travel. So we lift up Ben and his family for salvation. We pray safety, safe travels for Michelle and her family. Lord, we just uh, lift up Michelle, Lord God, that you would watch over them as they uh, get on those airplanes, Lord God, that they would have good connections, that they would be safe in Jesus' name. All of their planes would be safe and on time. And Ben, Lord God, we pray for his wife and daughters, Lord God, please save their souls. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Jesse, Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-E, -S -S -E, Jesse's uh, children need salvation. So Jesse's children. Thank you, Lord. And the Maldonado family, M-A-L-D-O-N-A-D-O. -A -A -O. And the mom is asking for her whole family to have uh, wisdom and God's guidance. So that's the Maldonado family. So Ben, Michelle, Jesse, Salvation, for the children, the Maldonado family, wisdom and guidance from above. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we have a family here that is drifted from Christ. Uh, the parents are Adam and Joanne, A-D-A-M and Joanne, J-O-A-N-N. And they have two small children. And so they need to be back in the place that the Lord would have them be. Adam and Joanne. Maybe they haven't even been saved. Maybe they haven't said the sinner's prayer. Okay, thank you, Lord. And I'm reminded now of Bob. Bob, our Vietnam vet, he has to go through some more chemo. So let's remember Bob and his family. The Lord just keeps this man going. He has so many health issues. Uh, but now that this chemo is coming, this is more involved in, a, a th I think it's three or four weeks that he has to go through this. And as I pray, as we pray for Bob, let's remember Al, Al, our little Dottie, our other prayer partner, went to the Lord. And Al and the family is grieving the loss of his wife and the family, sisters and cousins. So please remember Al. As you pray for Bob, and let's remember PJ. I haven't heard from PJ in a few weeks, and PJ is sick herself, not well, and she's taking care of her parents in their 90s, and the mama has Alzheimer's. So lift up PJ, Bob, and let's try to remember the Tree of Life Care Home in Pennsylvania. It's a Christian organization, and let's pray for the folks there at the home also. Just that God would protect that building, that facility, that things would be run smoothly and people would be saved at the Tree of Life Care Home. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we are backing up a little bit here to CJ's family with the little pregnant Violet here. Uh, we need to pray, please, for Aunt Sue. She doesn't sleep. So that's Aunt Sue needs rest. And we've had some real breakthrough with our friend Anne. Uh, Anne in London who wasn't sleeping and now she's sleeping. And actually, let's list Anne and Alvin for prayer this week also. They both have some health issues. So that's Bob, Aunt Sue, uh, the Tree of Life Care Home. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, Aunt Sue, who needs to be able to sleep. When you don't get your sleep and you don't function, it, it just takes you to so many bad places, doesn't it? Thank you, Lord, that you're going to help Aunt Sue, that Bob is going to get through this chemo, that you're protecting the tree of life, Lord God, the tree of life, Carol. 
And PJ, Lord God, we lift her up, God, a divine intervention right now, Lord God, so that she can feel these prayers, Lord God. Quiet mama at night, Lord God, that always was a problem. So we pray that you quiet her at night. And thank you, Lord, that you are over this family in Jesus' name. Megan, M-A-G-E-N, is asking for a closer walk. It's a good prayer for every one of us, Lord. Draw Megan by your spirit. Thank you, Lord Almighty God. And Melissa, M-E-L-L-I-S-A, Melissa and Juan both need a breakthrough, a miracle in their finances. I'm sure there's more of you. So Melissa and Juan, Lord God, divine intervention and Melissa's finances, Lord God, just like we prayed for Juan, Lord God, that you she would receive a breakthrough in her finances, Lord, that every dollar would be as $100 in her pocket. Thank you, Lord. And our friend of the channel, Tessa, T-E-S-S-A, her family needs to be saved. And she's faithful every week to pray for this family, her dad and her sister and the small children, Lord. We, we pray for salvation, Lord God, for this family, for this father, for these children, for this sister. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So real quick, I'll just go over the list. I've divided this up over two days, so we have a minute, and then we're going to pray for the needs. Christine, Juan, Teresa, CJ and Violet, Andrea, Brandy and the boys, Carl, Ben. Oh, I forgot too. Ben is, again, we're praying for his wife and daughters, but Ben needs deliverance from cigarettes. I'm sure there's more of you that need deliverance from cigarettes. So we'll add that to the list. Michelle, traveling mercies on that long journey. Jesse, salvation for the kids. The Maldonado family. Adam and Joanne. Bob is going through the chemo, uh, PJ and her parents, uh, Tree of Life Care Home, and Sue needs sleep, Megan wants a closer walk, Andrea, Melissa again finances for Melissa and Juan, and Tessa's family needs to be saved. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As we lay hands, Lord God, on this list, as we lift up each need this week to you, Lord God. Lord, we pray for those that need salvation. And we also put our own uh, family members upon your altar that need salvation, Lord God. Lord, we know days are short, Lord God. Time is so short, Lord God. And yet day after day, we stand before you in faith, Lord God, and pray that they would be saved, that you would draw them in their night hours, that you would chase them by day, Holy Spirit, that our family members would be saved, that you would be ever so gentle, but that, Lord, you would uh, do what needs to be done to bring them unto you, because you are a God of grace and mercy, and we realize the lateness of the days, Almighty God. The blood covering be upon all of our loved ones, Lord God, each one, Lord God, in every health issue represented here, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for good health in your people, Lord God. We pray that you touch bodies, Lord God, right now, that you heal them, Lord God, that they are able to sleep at night, Lord God. Put on the weight, Lord God. Get through this chemo, Lord God. Whatever the health need is, we pray your mercy be upon them. We thank you, Lord God, that you are a God that heals, that you are a miracle God, Lord God. We lift up Al and his family that's grieving the loss of precious and dear Dottie. Lord, we know where Dottie is. She's with you running around heaven right now, God. But there's a family in grief here, Lord God. Minister your love, your peace, your comfort right now. May Al feel these prayers, the whole family, in Jesus' name. We lift up the tree of life care home to you, God. I pray that you protect that whole facility, Lord, that building, Lord God, every room, Lord God, would be filled, Lord God, with people that are being ministered to, that are being healed and spoken in the spirit, Lord God. We pray for those precious workers and that owner, Lord God, with the heart after you, Lord God. Bless those people. Bless that business, Lord God. 
Bless that owner, Lord God, and take care of all of their needs for Juan and Melissa that are asking for help, Lord God, in their finances. We stand with them and we agree, Lord God, that these bills upon their desk, Lord God, and their rent would be paid, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, for a miracle for Juan and Melissa and each one maybe that hasn't written in about their finances, Lord God. I pray that every dollar would be like a hundred dollars in their pocket, Lord God, and that Ben is going to be delivered. You've delivered him from so much, Lord God, and that these cigarette cigarettes will be the next to go, Lord God, even now that Ben is letting go of these cigarettes in Jesus' name, Lord God. And the money that he saves on these cigarettes, God, that he will use it for the glory of your kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for each one struggling in the world, having trouble letting go today, Lord God. Those secret requests that perhaps they haven't written in, Lord God. We pray thy will be done, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that they would let go of this world and get into your word and grab a hold of you, Lord God. Times are short, Lord God. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord God, that these people are praying, that the six people are praying for every name, every one of the people on this channel. We thank you for the growth, Lord God. We thank you for a uh, uh, these divine connections that we're making through our mail ministry, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that we're touching people from nation to nation across the seas, Lord God, with this ministry, this parallel ministry, Lord God, because writing is healthy for us, Lord. Writing allows us to get sometimes out what we can't say in the comments section, Lord God. Thank you for each one here, Lord God. Bless and keep them. The blood covering be upon them in Jesus' name. And might every answer, may they receive their breakthroughs, Lord God. And every answer that is now upon your altar come. You come according to your will, Lord God. And Lord, we, we pray that you will use us. You will be with us, Lord God. And uh, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God be with you. We'll be back tomorrow with more prayer needs. This is good. It's growing. If we have to pray two days, so be it. And praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. God loves you. His light shine upon you. His blood covering be upon you. In Jesus' name, God bless.